guys, I'm in Paris. This is my first time mostly doing some of the iconic Paris locations like the Arc de Triomphe, the shopping center that's really famous, and the Eiffel Tower. Also here with my mom, it's also her first time, so we're exploring this place together. It's the Arc de Triomphe! Woo! She's taking pictures. <laughs> so you can also buy tickets, which I got over here to see up close of the Arc de Triomphe. And I also believe you can go up, so let's look. Wow, so pretty. Look at how intricate the calligraphy is and the sculptures and the names. These are the stairs inside the Arc de Triomphe. I've never done this many stairs in my life. Oh, we're here. Oh my god. We're at the top of the Arc de Triomphe. You can see the entire city of Paris from here. We are so hungry, so we went to a nearby French restaurant, so I'll show you guys what we got. France is known for their French onion soup, so this is onion soup. I got this wok noodles, Asian style wok noodles, and then my mom got the foie gras or duck, which looks pretty interesting, so let's eat. I'm gonna try the onion soup. Can I taste the oil? Mm, it's good. It's like creamy. Mm. So we just ate lunch and we're at the Champs Elysees in Paris, which is the famous shopping street. All the luxury shops are here, so we're going to see if I'm going to end up getting anything today. So bye. Look at that LV store, it looks crazy! guys i just got back from my first full day in paris and i'm super tired look at how many steps i did today around 19,000 steps and that's because i didn't take the metro today i need to learn how to take the metro tomorrow because walking everywhere in paris is not sustainable but i did pick up some macarons from the l'occitane store on le champ elysee so it's like in collaboration with this other store called Pierre Hermé. So I got these two macarons and I'll do a little taste test. This one is super pretty. It's like quite big actually and there are raspberries all around and this flower petal and look at this little like water droplet thing. It's so cute. Okay, so I'm gonna use a fork to eat this. This is how it looks like. It's really juicy, not too sweet and there's a hint of rose in it which tastes really floral. And I love that. 
It is day two of Paris, and we're here at the Louvre, which is the most famous museum in Paris. It is super crowded, and I am really excited to see the Mona Lisa. Just ate lunch and there's also a garden next to the Louvre, so it's really green and it's right behind the museum. It's so green and pretty and you can see the Eiffel Tower in the background right there. Hi friends, it's day three of our Paris trip and right now we're at the Seine River Cruise on a boat and you can see the Eiffel Tower. The water is a lot darker than I thought it would be. The thing I really like about Paris is the metro system and apparently it's one of the most connected metro systems in the world. The trees are like kind of squarish and actually I just did some research about this place. This place is famous for the 1900 Paris games which is so fun because the Olympic Games this year are coming up soon so there's like the 2024 Paris sign so back on the streets of Paris and right now I'm going to somewhere that is really special to Paris and super exciting so let's go! That's all? Oui. Secure the goods. I just got back to the Airbnb and there's this really nice terrace on the apartment. So I'm going to show you what I got from this bakery. It's super iconic to see other Paris videos. But can you guess what this is? Oh my god, guys. Guys. It's the largest croissant I've ever seen. Look how massive this is. This is like twice the size of my head. Oh my goodness, it looks so beautiful. Okay, so guess how much this was? This was 32 euros. So quite the price for a croissant. I'm gonna do a little taste test of the croissant. I did take a bite already, I'm gonna take another bite to see. Mm. It does taste like a standard croissant, but I think because it's a lot bigger, it feels a little bit harder in texture, but the flavor profile is still there.
guys, look how clear the water is. Oh my god. Finally got into the castle. Last day in Paris. <laughs> nom nom nom. <laughs> not in Paris anymore. I am back home, but earlier in the video, I mentioned that I will show you guys what I got in Paris because I did a little bit of shopping and some fun souvenirs. So the first thing I got, as you probably guessed from the video, was this Chanel bag. And I never really thought about purchasing a bag like this until more recently. And I am super grateful, but in Paris, there was a VAT refund on goods purchased in Europe. So you save a little bit of money compared to buying it in America. And it's sort of just like a physical reminder of the hard work that I put in over the years. So I am super happy with it. And I also got some other little souvenirs as well from Paris. So these are more like household items, but I got this Eiffel Tower Palo, I think. The colors are so pretty and it matches well with almost any neutral sofa or chair. So. This is going to be a physical reminder of being in Paris. And I got this little Eiffel Tower statue in one of the souvenir shops. And yeah, that's a little haul. And thanks for tuning into my video. If you want to see more vlogs like this, then subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye!